I was brought on as faculty in the Department of Geography at the time uh, in the fall of 1988 and was told it was a one semester commitment and that was almost 26 years ago. They said, what happened to that forecast? And I kind of looked down in class and I go, what do you mean? Was I wrong? And then you had the class will kind of sink down the back of the chair. Hell yes, we are wrong. Weather forecasting as part of meteorology is really a non-perfect science. There's so much change in things outside on a day-by-day -day basis that uh, we do the best we can. I think we do pretty well when it comes down to it. Are we wrong sometimes? You bet. Do we fail the test sometimes? You bet. I have been at every TV station on the face of the earth. TV, you've got what? you got your voice, da-da, and you've got what? You've got the visual side of it. I can stand in front of a weather map and, and you know, do this all day long, you know, and, and that sort of thing. In radio, you have to tell a story, and you only got one opportunity to do it. You have to be able to do it verbally. And that's one thing that this university, and particularly what we do in communications in the BELO school, you know, we teach people how to become better communicators. And I think we, we need that. And you've got to be a, if you'll excuse the expression, you've got to be a damn good uh, communicator to do that. Otherwise, your butt's not going to be on radio very long. What I think I offer is I can take the forecast, tell people what's going on. I give people credit enough to want to know a little more about why that's going to happen. And that's the story I attempt to tell every day. When I grew up, first, second, third grade, I was terrified of thunderstorms. I mean, we're talking about getting uh, clinical help uh, because I was afraid of thunderstorms. I mean, you know, couldn't understand it. And they had great teachers like Jane Mills in the second grade and, and, and uh, other teachers in the third and fourth grade that said, okay, Troy, uh, you're going to be afraid of that and we're going to go to the library. And they started pulling books off the shelf. They said, here, Troy, read the book. And it started with that. It started because of what teachers did along the way. And I'm not talking about university professors. I appreciate my time at Texas A&M, but I'm talking about second and third grade teachers, people that are out there that are tools for students, young kids. And they got me in the library and got me pulling books off the shelf. And in 2014, I wouldn't give anything for it. I'm doing what I want to do.